Marvin and I are definitely those kind of cat parents. We send each other videos of our cats doing everyday stuff, and so I thought it would be fun to create and decorate a tear tray with cat-themed DIYs. You're gonna wanna make these for the cat lovers in your life. These are simple and easy to do, and we're gonna get started right on this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Starting off with a DIY that I love putting on a tear tray. It's a book stack and it's actually some scrap wood that I cut down to make them minis. I thought they would look cute stained, but then I decided to go back with a, or to go with a black, white, and gray color palette. Here I'm using Waverly Paint in the color rich black. Oh, oh there's Captain. <laughs> this is a tear tray that's near, on my counter near where my, we keep our cat food and stuff. So lately I've been trying to decorate it with more of a cat theme. And I used my Cricut to cut out three words, live, love, and purr. Now that I think about it, I should have replaced the O in love with a paw or like maybe drew one on or something, but I thought I thought about it, that would look super cute, but I'm using Mike's favorite expressions, vinyl paper transfer tape to add the letters to the books. I normally put ribbon or twine going around the front, but this time I decided to go long ways on the book. I just used some hot glue to put a small dab on the bottom to attach one end of the ribbon, wrapped it around and hot glued the other end down. I adjusted it so it was straight on the book stack and I just made a simple bow and I hot glued that to the top of the book stack. Y'all should know by now that I love all things mini and I think this turned out so cute. I normally try to sand down the front of signs like this, but on this one I didn't. I was just hoping that the paint I was using would be good enough to cover what was there. I was being careful to just paint the top, but then I ended up painting all the way around anyway. I made a decal using my Cricut and it is the letter C, an outline of a cat, and then the letter T. I used Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape because it is so easy to use and y'all, it doesn't pull up any of the paint when I apply a decal. So I thought that the mini sign looked a bit plain, so I decided to add some paw prints all the way across the top and across the bottom of the sign. And this is how it turned out. I did add some black dots on the letter C and T and added some additional details. So it turned out super cute and easy to do. This little sign is from the Target Dollar Spot and I'm just painting the inside of the sign black. And at first I was being super careful because I was just gonna paint the sign part. And in fact, you can kind of see the painter's tape, but honestly, it was just gonna be a lot of work to tape it off. I did go ahead and paint the inside of the frame. I left the rest of it the wood color. I made a paw print decal to put inside the sign and it was super de easy, super easy to do, but just a tad on the plain side. So I used a black paint pen to add some dots and lines and I think it turned out great. Again, this is just simply painting this little sign black. I think I got it from the Target Dollar Spot and now that I'm looking at it, it would be a really great size for a small book stack, but that's not what we're making right now. I cut out all of my decals at the same time and for whatever reason, I cut the decal out for this sign with black vinyl. And this could have gone a couple different ways. I could have recut the decal or I could have used the decal as a stencil, or you can do like I'm doing here and just repaint the front of it with Parisian gray. Now it's time to add the decal to the sign. And again, this Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape works wonders and doesn't lift the paint up at all. And this is how it turned out. Another quick and simple tiered tray DIY. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. This video is going fast and we're already on DIY number five. For this one, I'm making a, or taking a scrap piece of wood and I try to sand it smoother, at least smoother for me. <laughs> and I'm painting it all over with Parisian gray. I made a decal that says cat hair don't care. And I replaced the A in the word cat with a paw. Now I showed my husband this and I said, you like it? And he said, yeah, you know, in a way that made me think he didn't get it. So then I said, it's like, you know, long hair don't care or something like that. And he didn't get that either. So then I was trying to explain it. And it's almost kind of like an attitude. And then I was thinking, you know, trying to explain it makes it feel like it's almost like a, if you know, you know, kind of thing. So tell me in the comments, how would you explain this? This is how it turned out. And even if my husband didn't really get it, let me know what you think in the comments below. 
This is DIY number six. And apparently this is gonna be a short video as well. <laughs> so this sign is from Hobby Lobby and it was 90% off. And I bought it a long time ago, but this is your sign, you know, get it, sign, to always watch the clearance area for stuff you could do over. The sign was certainly cute enough as it was, but I'm redoing it for my tear tray and painting the front with Parisian gray. I cut another decal. And this one says, you had me at meow. And wait, oh, um, okay, so you see, <laughs> there's a little tea that got onto the sign before I was ready, so I had to take this little tool that I have, another Dollar Tree product, although I'm not sure what it's called, but I use it as a weeding tool. Anyways, I got the tea and set it aside to apply after I got the decal on, and now we are good to go. See, just adding that little tea back on. I take a ridiculous amount of time to make a simple bow, and I'm not sure what the issue was, but I finally got it to where I like it. And looking at the sign now, I kind of think I need to go back and add a bit of shadow to the letters to help them pop more. And after I finally got that bow done, I trim the ends, and then I hot glue it to the sign. And this is how it turned out. It's really cute and I think it'll be great on my tear tray. Let me know what you think. DIY number seven will be the last one for today. And as you can see, I did sand off the front of the sign because sometimes when I'm redoing a sign and paint over the original without sanding, you can still see the previous image. And even though the sign is already black, I'm painting the front and sides black again so that the color is consistent. I didn't remove the wire because I thought it would be a struggle to put it back on. So I'm just painting around it. This decal is from my Cricut and I drew the cat and then added the words and I wanted to replace the dot on the eye with the word of the word with a heart. So I had to make a super tiny heart and then I took the dot off and added the heart and I also made a couple extra ones to add to the sign. So I work on that and then I add the decal to the sign. Y'all, this is my favorite one. I just love how it turned out. It's just so stinking cute. And although it's Valentine's Day specific, I'm tempted to keep it up all year long. Little guy's eating. And now it's time to put this tray together. So this is how the tray looks right now. Here's all my items that I'm gonna use. I had a couple other things. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add those or not, but I start with the taller or the larger items first. And I kind of want to put them at the back. And I'm angling it so that you can see it from more than just like looking at it straight on. And I think I'll put this down here. Let's see if I can push it back a little bit. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Let's put that there. So I kind of feel like, I mean, you probably can guess what it says, but um, I think I'm gonna use this little block to put under here to give it a little bit of height. See if that works. Now you can see it a little bit better. Maybe I should change this, you know? it's looking right now but I feel like I need to add like some little filler pieces and although that's kind of still covering up the letters you get the idea of what I'm trying to do maybe just lay some down here I think once my cats notice that these are like little felt 
pillowy things, I think they're going to use them for toys versus um, leaving them alone. I don't know. I feel like I need to put like maybe some greenery. I think I need to go back and get some greenery because on this side, I don't really want to, unless I elevate this one back here more, I don't want to cover up the meowantine. So let me see if I can find something to elevate it. This is how the tear tray is looking so far. I do feel like I need to add just a, look, a little bit more greenery or something like that to kind of balance out things. But that's going to do it for this round of DIYs. Be sure and head down to the comments and let me know which one was your favorite. I appreciate the company while I craft and create. And I'll leave a video in the corner that I think you will enjoy. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube, over on TikTok or Instagram, my handle is our gray house. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.